It would be up to FBI profilers in the investigative support unit at Quantico, Virginia, to penetrate this criminal's mind. Profilers are veteran agents who receive specialized training in criminology and applied psychology. Retired FBI Special Agent John Douglas advanced the art of behavioral profiling for the FBI. For over a decade, he and others conducted interviews with convicted killers, arsonists, rapists, and kidnappers in various prisons around the country. I tapped through that memory of theirs that uh, no one has ever tapped into before when they were perpetrating uh, the crime. It takes time, but once I'm in there, I get tremendous information. They taught Douglas how to think like they do. He's learned that serial killers are acting out their fantasies of control and conquest. As Douglas slowly wins their trust, he takes them back to the scene of their crime. You finally get them talking, they start giving you that thousand yard stare. They're back, they're back 10 years ago, 20 years ago when they were perpetrating uh, the crime and they kind of lock into that thousand yard stare and their memory is, is just so pr precise. And the fantasy is what keeps them going uh, over and over and, and enables them to survive when they're incarcerated. So I got to tap into that. It takes time, but once I'm in there, I get tremendous information. From these interviews, he distilled a checklist of traits and habits that serial killers share. They start young, with lesser crimes such as arson or cruelty to animals. Over the years, their violence builds. To every new case, Profilers bring the knowledge of how killers evolve. There are different types of serial killer. There are the very personal types of serial killers and the impersonal style and type of serial killer. The personal type of an offender wants to look in the eyes of, of the victim, and they want to spend hours, if at all possible, with their victims, being in a position of total control and domination. That's what really is going to, to turn them on. When you look at serial killers, you look at uh, patterns as well as signature. Signature is something that the offender does. It's, it's kind of repetitive behavior, but behavior that, that the subject has to do. It's more of a ritual. Douglas and others cataloged and categorized their findings, creating a statistical database from which profilers can draw inferences about criminals based on patterns of behavior. A profile is designed to, uh, to come up with the most probable offender. Its goal is, is to eliminate uh, a lot of false leads, it's, it's a, an attempt is being made as well to maybe refocus the investigation of law enforcement or possibly reinforce the investigation by telling them that you're on the right track here. When creating a profile, Douglas needs to review all investigative materials, including preliminary police reports and crime scene photographs. You really need to have the, all the information uh, relative to the victim. You have to do a, an analysis, a profile of the victim. You ask yourself the question, why was this victim the victim of this crime? And then you look at the way the crime was, was perpetrated, the low-risk crime or, or high-risk crime. When someone asks for a profile, what they're looking for are physical and behavioral characteristics, which includes age, race, sometimes uh, body typing. Uh, educational level, occupational uh, type. Sometimes it may include the, right down to the type of vehicle the person will be driving. Um, may include the overall behavior of the subject, whether or not he's, he's very, very rigid, obsessive, compulsive on one extreme, to being very, very sloppy and careless on the, uh, on the other. And so it can include sometimes as many as, uh, as 100 characteristics uh, in the overall profile. I'm very much like a, a, a doctorate in medicine, where I'm trying to come up with a diagnosis, and I'm going to rely on the thousands of cases that I've worked. I'm going to rely on the hundreds and hundreds of, of, of interviews of offenders who committed similar types of crimes. 